Hey guys, so I just wanted to get on today and do a review for my Donna Marie Mirror Curl Detangler and Conditioner. Where is this? In here? Yeah. Sorry, I don't feel like breaking out my nice camera today. I don't feel like dealing with this setup. I'm lazy. My bad. Um, but anywho, I got this like last week. Um, and the description says, tired of fighting with tangles and knots, the mirror curl detangler and conditioner is the solution for the tangle-free moisturized, for tangled-free moisturized hair. The nourishing and detangling properties of coconut cream and aloe will allow you to style your hair with ease. Great for all hair types. So, I got this conditioner because my hair really likes coconut cream and um, also likes aloe and it also has a BTMS, satirical alcohol, cetyl alcohol, horsetail, uh, citric acid, silver citrate, potassium sorbate, and fragrance. And for some reason, I thought this had, it was supposed to have flaxseed in it, but I don't know, I'll have to look it up, but this could be why I didn't really like it that much. It wasn't, well, it wasn't that I didn't like it. I just didn't think it was special at all. It really, first of all, it smells like, almost like suave coconut. It almost has the same consistency. It's pretty thick. It's like a thick kind of conditioner. Um, and I use it as a rinse out and as a leave-in. Um, I actually have a lot on my hands. But... The thing is, yeah, I mean, for me, it just wasn't really anything special. When I put it on my hair, um, it wasn't especially, you know, slippery. The tangles weren't just, like, like melting out of my hair like you would expect with, you know, a name like they have. It was just normal, like, if I used a normal conditioner. Um, and then when I left it in... Like, I'm having a great hair day, um, but I paired it with AG Recoil. So, all AG Recoil needs is a really good leave-in, and then it's, like, the bomb.com. So, um, yeah. It's, so, I would chalk it up more to the Recoil than the um, Mirror Curl. I also used Recoil the other day with my Shea Moisture leave-in, and I also had a great hair day with that. So, and that costs a little bit less. Like, I can get that if I go visit Maryland uh, for about $10, and this is $12, and then I have to pay shipping and handling. So then I pretty much ended up paying like $17 for this, and it's okay. It's, it's not bad at all. Like, I'm not by any means saying it's bad. Um, it just, for the price, it didn't really wow me. I definitely like the milk much better. I like the smell of it, and I feel like the milk, because it's so light, does make my hair um, a little less weighed down, but um, I haven't been using the milk because it has glycerin, and our dew points are all over the place right now. Like, for half the day, the, it'll be 30, and then at night, it'll go up to 50, and I just don't feel like dealing with that guesswork, especially if the dew point goes down to 30. And then it's going to um, dry my hair out overnight a lot of the time if I use something with glycerin. So I just decided to leave it alone for a little bit. But this one, like I said, it's not bad. I don't really recommend it. Um, it's not a holy grail for me. Um, it, yeah, and with those ingredients, especially if the flaxseed isn't in there, I really thought there was flaxseed in here. I thought I read that somewhere. Maybe I'm crazy. Well, I probably <laughs> don't answer that. Um, but, I mean, yeah, the pretty basic conditioner recipe. And I did, I when I used it as a rinse out, yeah, it was basically like washing with, trust me, naturals or something. So it wasn't completely mind-blowing. Uh, but that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, this is actually the first Donna Marie product that I've tried that I wasn't like, oh my god, I love this, which is fine. Like, I don't expect to love every single thing from a line. That's just how it is, but mm, I, it's not going to stop me, you know, from trying other things on the line. Like, it wasn't bad. Okay, that's really all. All right, bye guys.